What is going on, YouTubers? Abdur Sound here from AndroidBlackspot.com. Today with Galaxy S3, I'll show you how to restore your Galaxy S3 from your Galaxy S3. This will work on any Galaxy S3, international, Canadian, or US version. Uh, this won't work on the Verizon yet because the bootloader was unlocked and Adam Outlet just un unlocked it today. Sorry, it was locked and Adam Outlet just unlocked it today. So if you don't know how to do it, go ahead and find the thread on XDA and you will see it, all the instructions and stuff. So to do this, you have to have the mobile Odin application. I have the Pro, you can get the light version I think, if it's not on Play Store, you can get it from XDA. And you will need to have your stack ROM for this, or stack, and it will be in tar, fo tar format, I'll see you right here. So I have AT AT&T so I have that file and I'll, mostly I will have all the files in there like Bell Rogers, uh, T-Mobile and AT&T Tells and everything so just find the link in description download that and put it on your SD card. Let's go ahead and go to Mobile Odin. In here if you have Pro version make sure all the partition right here they are off because you don't want to root it again it says right here injects super user su and you don't want to do that all you gotta do is make sure all this not selected all you gotta do right here is open file and here pick your SD card I got internal and from here you can just pick out your recovery file I think you need to be Unzip, zipped. So I gotta do that right now. So I'll be back once this thing unzips. So I'm back. It's unzipped now, and let's go ahead and do the process. All you gotta do is just press open file select your SD card and then go ahead and find the file just press OK go down press and right here just clear all that so it's cleared that will clear your actual flashing so make sure you disable these things so it doesn't root your phone and now just press flash firmware continue make sure you check MD5 too Check MD5 will eliminate your problem if you have bad bad download then you will know right away rather than finding out later. Once that's done it will reboot into its own Odin mode and start flashing. Hmm? 
so the process will take time because it's flashing system about 50% done so this is actually a really great option because if you have emergency and you need to replace your phone do warranty exchange or sell it on spot you can just do this and it will reset and then afterwards you can do factory reset to raise all your data and I'm sure Chainfire will get Verizon version of S3 supported soon and if you don't know go ahead and check out triangle away application which will raise your custom binary counter it hasn't it, it does not have support for US Galaxy S3s but it has a lot of different phones supported right now and this application will work on a lot of different phones like International Galaxy Note, uh, AT&T Galaxy S2, International Galaxy S2 and there's I will have a list of how many phones it supports on my blog so go ahead and check that out and these are this is our blog if you don't know androidtechblogspot.com So once it boots up, we'll check out if it's unrooted or not. And to let you guys know, this does not erase anything. So you will see my screen looking exactly like how it did before. So as you can see, all the bloat will come back. Cutting and backup. Error, sorry, I could not acquire root privileges because we just unrooted the phone. And that's how you use mobile Odin to unroot your phone from your phone. And now you're on stack. To do 100% stack, go ahead and do factory reset and you'll be 100% stack. I will have a video on how to do factory reset later on. So now go ahead and subscribe right there like my videos share globally go ahead and check out Tech Fanatic 9 and check out our blog I will see you in the next video